Hey everybody, in this video I'm chatting to Brian Jones about the final between Pony and Ring of Fire in 2021 US Nationals. Uh, we talk specifically about defense, um, whether a system change would have helped generate more than six turnovers, both teams turned over six times, and I talk a little bit about um, skills and, and fundamentals as I see them uh, for defensive players. Alright, hope you enjoy the video. When we have these types of things when it's a close game, you're going to regret not making certain adjustments. And I certainly do. Um, but I don't think we looked at it and went, you know, we fell back on one-to-one -one because it's just, it was going to work. It was more of like, well, let's try these little things and let's just try to get away from what we do really well. Hmm. Okay. I think the the thing that I've, I've noticed is I don't think it's like a system thing. Like it, with, with like, with offense, it's, it is like a very much system. It's like, you know, you have horizontal, you've got vertical, you've got different, slightly different ways of playing them. I, I, I push hex and that it is like a, a system change but also like an approach change it's like system plus um but with defense like i don't really like you know there's a whole like flexicon defense but really that's just an amalgamation of, of of a couple of tools um that the defenders use and so something that the thing that stands out to me the most isn't that um teams aren't playing more interesting zone sets or or like developed junks or whatever but it's just a it's just a basic um lack of awareness and unwillingness to like switch um i mean i'd like to add in like you know to punish clustering as well like you know when the offense clusters together that the defense don't automatically surround them but i think we're not at that point yet you know that goes a bit beyond awareness um but but yeah just the fundamental thing of switching like we saw already with with harper garvey kind of going down the whole length of the field. That's not uncommon. You know, that, that stuff happens quite a lot in Ultimate. Um, mm -hmm. but, so yeah, I wouldn't think it's like a, a system thing. I think it's a skills thing. And I, and I think defenders aren't really encouraged enough to, to develop those communication and awareness skills. You know, for me, those are the fundamentals. Right. Yeah, and I think that there's a lot of fundamentals. I think there's a lot of details of how you should play positioning that take a while to... Um, to develop it's 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 there's so many things to work on to get better at and i, I don't disagree with you right like there's the communication and switching is a fundamental skill and that's when you're choosing someone to play deep deep in a zone and this is only one example not just the one thing you're pointing to but communication is almost the most important thing as if from a deep deep rather than athleticism rather than size communication the ability to own the defense and to tell people where to go and where the where they should be is almost the most vital skill out of that type of position. Mm. We were talking about the the coach not being able to see from the sideline what's going wrong with um, like a surrounding defense, for example, right? Um, so right. I found I found that I had to actually empower the players a lot more, right? And and it and it was the same thing of communication. So instead of like me communicating to the players, like, oh, this is what happened, this is what you're doing wrong, this is what we need to do, I was just encouraging them to communicate to with each other, not just in the live play, but also after the point. And they're like, you know, oh, you know, the, you know, the the the, the, the surround didn't work, you know, whatever. Someone, someone, we blew blew a switch, and I'm like, okay, look, I I can't really comment on that because I can't see everything. But you need to then talk to the other defenders, right? Who 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 were you expecting to cover that? Go talk to them, you know. When when you surrounded the stack and there were two people still marking one to one, who were they? Like, just talk to them, you know, get that communication yeah. happening. Um, and I think that's something that that that, that was like a, a switch in 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 a bit of like the approach of like coaching, and and I and I think that. That could be massively beneficial, like for, and and so like learn learning learning more, not really advanced. I I guess they are kind of more complex because you know you're equipping players with these tools. You know, like like putting a, a boat out on the ocean, just like you equip equip it with all the things it needs to do to, to navigate, rather than you, you lay out exactly the map of the ocean and the route they need to take. Um, and I think that that empowerment of the players could actually lead to uh, like way better awareness communication and and in turn, then, then force the offense to have to be a lot better as well. For more on defense, check out the Spectrum of Defense series and the Flexicon Defense series. Uh, in particular, on communication, I've linked the video in the description below. It's on the lowest tier on Patreon. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon.